Whether you're looking to sell that valuable drop you just got, or you're trying to buy the next upgrade for your build, price checking accuracy is very important. But how do you price check items in Torchlight Infinite? There's two ways to go about this. The first is the method that I would advise if you're trying to buy something, and the second is the method I'd advise if you're trying to sell something. These won't be perfect and all-inclusive of every situation, sometimes you're just going to have to manually sort through a lot of pages of junk. However, in a vast majority of cases, this will greatly simplify your experience, making it easier and more enjoyable to trade in Torchlight Infinite. So let's get into it. So first off, let's go to the Trade House. And you don't want the Trade House tab, you want the Advanced tab. And let's say I wanted to search up an Infinity Belt. Why infinity? Maybe I feel like I'm lacking a little bit of clear, and I know that I can get a lot more clear. I come to the trinket and the belt. Then I look for base gear and scroll down for infinity. Now if I know what I want, I can type in here to search. If I don't know, this will be a list of all the mods that can appear on infinity. So maybe I decide, well I wasn't really here for it, but lightning rest sounds pretty good, or maybe true flame will help with my clear. There could, of course, be a better option, though, like Frozen Lotus. But nothing came up. Why is that? Because capitalization is important, and you have to match whatever the capitalization is on the mod. So now we have Frozen Lotus with plus one cold skill. This is the Ember version of the mod, which will likely be very rare and expensive. Or if you just want any belt with Frozen Lotus, you just select it here and hit search. All of these infinities have Frozen Lotus on them. They might not have other useful stats, though. And this is where you can refine the search to potentially restrict it to more interesting options. Now, let's say I wanted something else as well. I'd just sort through the list here, maybe Damage Pierces Elemental Resists, and hit search. These are all the Infinity Belts with Damage Pierces Elemental Resist and Frozen Lotus. There looks to be two pages of them. So instead of the hundreds or thousands of options for an item, now I have a very short list where I can sort through and say, well, this one, Damage Pierces, Lightning, Res, Blur Effect, Frozen Lotus. All right, that's pretty good. Doesn't too much help my defenses since I'm a shield build. Res is always nice. And I've got good damage and clear. Here we go. Some Fervor Effect, Crit Strike Mitigation, a little bit more defensive. Int is always good. Maximum Agility Blessing if I'm playing Thea. Well, that could be a very good option. Or I could just go with a super cheap, buy this one for 8 Flame Elementium and not really think twice about it. Cheap upgrade, I swap it in, I boost my clear, and I swap back to a real belt if I'm fighting some bosses. Or I could get something like this for 90 FE that is absolutely incredible value, because you not only get Frozen Lotus, which will increase your clear, you get Frostbitten, which significantly increases your single target damage, so when I'm wearing it, it doesn't feel like as much of a hit, even if, again, it's a defensive loss over what I'm ultimately using. Now you can also do this with rare items. Let's say I want an Int Helmet, and I know that I want that Int Helmet to be on a Elder Sage's base. I want Fizz taken as or Aura Effect. I don't want to have to roll both of them, so I'm going to put in Aura Effect 9%, which is the T1 roll. All of a sudden, I have all of the Elder Sage's Chapeau, which are rolled with Aura Effect. Maybe I can find one for cheap that's actually worth further improving. Or maybe not, because the mods on this are garbage and it already has four mods. So I know, all right, I'm going to have to craft that for myself. But what about other options? What about Fizz Taken As? Because I think that's available here, and I just look through, and I just look through. Sure enough, Fizz Taken converted to cold. Search that out. Maybe I don't put in a mod yet. I see an option. All right, well, I guess I have to put in a little bit of a qualifier. You won't always get the right answer the first time. Sometimes you do have to tinker with the options. I see this can go down to 11, like so. And here's my options. Again, nothing too spectacular, so I'd probably have to create this from scratch, as opposed to buying it partially finished. That said, you never know until you try. Now, there is one other way to price check things that can be very important. Before I get to it though, a quick reminder that if you're finding this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, and while you're down there, get subscribed for more content, as I tend to release videos pretty regularly. On the other hand, if you want to keep up with gaming news, reviews, and more, click through the card after this video to check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts. Before I get back to things, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for their continued support. More about how you can support at the end. For now, let's start talking about price checking again.
On the other hand, because I'm replacing my helmet, I need to sell my old one. So how much might it be worth? Well, you can hit this button right here to price check any item. It'll tell me one flame elementium. That can't be true, right? It's not. This is the value of any Elder Sage's chapeau. You click this button right here to bring up the mods. I don't really care about the item level. It's already a fully crafted item, but I do care about gear energy shield, maybe the erosion res, but for now I'll ignore it, the aura effect, and I'll ignore the fizz taken as cold. What's a good energy shield aura effect helmet going for? And there's only one for 300 flame elementium. Of course, maybe this is a little bit too strict. The minimum rolls after all are 41 and 77. And the minimum roll for this is nine. So what about all the options here? You'll have to play with these features quite a bit. I could feel like 120 FE is well worth it for this helmet, given how much I invested. I might feel like, no, this has good resist as well. It has T1 fire res. I think that 300 was far more accurate and I'd put it up for that price instead. Be sure to play around with it and try to find something that works well for you. Using these methods to price check, you can save yourself a lot of time and save yourself some mistakes that could be quite painful. I've seen a lot of items that get horribly mispriced. They get mispriced because someone, for example, will put it up for the cheapest price without looking at the rolls. Or they get mispriced the other way and will never sell because someone just takes a quick glance and the first page has really expensive versions and theirs is actually a lot worse or not necessarily rolled well at all. So instead, they should have looked to page five, but who really wants to sort through 50 items and check for rolls on all of them? Using the advanced search and by price checking will get you the items that you need either to buy or to sell much faster. So next time you get a lucky drop, try to keep these tips in mind. You know who else also keeps these tips in mind? My patrons and channel members. For as low as $1 a month, you can support the channel and hey, you might even end up with your name featured on screen right now. If you wanna watch more content, maybe builds are more your thing, then there's gonna be a video recommended right here by YouTube and there are going to be options in the card which you can click through in the top right corner for some other resources I have on Torchlight Infinite. If you want to join the conversation for yourself, be sure to hop in Discord, then react to give yourself a community role where you can talk with the rest of the community about Torchlight Infinite and various other games. For now, I only have one question for you. What's the dumbest thing you've done so far? The mistake that you really regret and kind of don't want to share, but you know that other people can learn from. Be sure to leave them down in the comments below.